Welcome to D1NZ, New Zealand's National Drifting Championship. We're here at Manfield Auto Park for Round 1 2009. Takes us into our seventh season of premier drifting in this country. We've got a full lineup of cars today. We're going to go down and speak to some of the guys today. New, some new cars, some old cars. We're going to go check them all out for you. Also, 2008 Drift King Gaz Wider. He's been to the Red Bull World Drift Champs. We're going to go see what they've all got to say for themselves. Follow me. Checking out some of the action out there, it's pretty hot. Managed to track down Gaz Wider, 2008 Drift King. So Gaz, tell me, uh, you're here today, what do you think of the track so far? It's always good when we come here. The track's nice and dry, a lot of heat out there. Is it good for the tyres, like being that hot? Not so much, if you overheat them, you lose everything and they yep. start chunking out. Gaz, tell me a bit about the, the, the circuit, how you would um, approach the circuit and what sort of gear you're in and, and tell me a bit about the car setup and how that works for you. First of all, you come down the, the front straight here, get down second gear, first corner, punch through the gears, full throttle all the way to the start cones, clutch kick, enter, depending on your car's speed, setup, all that, enter, full throttle all the way through, you want to really keep to the middle of the track. You want to be full throttle on the right line and then you know you've got the fastest line there. You want to have a good switch right on the blue pegs there. Nice and aggressive Nice, switch. Yeah, yeah, let it swing. Bang third, full throttle again, come through here, hit the ripple strips on the left hander. You want to be full throttle through the switch, I think. You, you don't really want to play with the gas if you're on the right line once again. I guess the more throttle through the run the better. Yeah, more smoke, more speed, yeah. all that. Middle of the right hander is where I'm sort of ending up. Full throttle and switch second gear into the hairpin there. Come in high and then down, hitting the clipping point on the inside of the hairpin there. Just drop down into it. Drop so it's quite cambered, it. eh? It's almost like a bowl. You yeah, it's, when you're actually and... on the corner, it's a lot more cambered than it looks from here. Does it tend to throw you the camber on that corner? It does it? throw you. If you get it wrong, you're going to spin. Yeah. You've got the right, right angle and everything full throttled out of there and it's surprising how much speed you can actually get out of that last corner. Well, good luck for the rest of the day and I uh, wish you all the best. Cheers. Good. Hey, I'm Gaz Wider, your 2008 Drift King, and you're watching D1NZ TV. But down in the pits here, I just found Mad Mike scarpering about. Yeah, the main top eight in the world, so pretty stoked with that. Any changes for today, especially with um, you talk, talking about taking the wing off, leaving it on? What sort of changes have you made for the track today? Uh, yeah, yesterday we tried some different toe settings and um, it seemed like really sticky, so we took the wing off and then once we took that off it just felt like we were ice skating going nowhere, so we've just set it up exactly how it was in, um, in Long Beach yeah. and it seems to be going really well. Long um, Beach, California, for those Long of you who don't know where that California, is. California, yeah. Uh, Red Bull World Drifting Championship, so Mike and uh, Gaz and the guys, just Rudiman, just come back from that, so it's been quite a, a big thing for them. And the cars just got back and repaired because everyone had the old wall damage. Mad Mike! Planning on doing that again? That's a good thing? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're building another car now, so that this car here will go over and we'll do the um, Formula Drift Championship over there. Any yeah, details on the new cars? A bit of a... Oh, everyone knows it's an RX-8. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, cool. But he'll, he'll make it pretty sick, you know. Oh, we don't stuff around. Oh, yeah, really confident now that we're back to the setup that we're used to. We're running the new semi slick tyres as well. Uh, I think Gaz and Rudiman are probably running their leftovers from the States. Yeah, so. yeah. Mad Mike, one of the top qualifiers for the D1NZ Round 1 Manfield Drifting Championship. Let's see how he goes. I'm Mad Mike, this is Mad Bull, and this is one Mad Rick. You're watching D1NZ TV. Yeah. Alright, next person I found, Danum Templeton, also known as Slim. If you find Danum too hard, it's pretty easy. I don't know how he could. Danum, how's it been going so far? A few good runs? Yeah, not too bad. We had a bit of a hiccup yesterday in practice. We had the detents in the gearbox lockout, so it made the car really hard to change gear. So we whipped the gearbox out last night and fixed that, and it seems to be fine. As you do, as you do. Tell me briefly about like where you've come from. I mean, obviously, you're new to drifting as such, yeah. but you've always sort of followed it. Yeah. Um, you've obviously raced and done other things. Yeah, I started racing when I was 11 and off-roading, which yeah. was, you know, in the dirt and that. So I think that's where I learned a lot of car control skills. Then did a lot of tar seal racing and rallying and stuff like that. And then we went circuit racing again in single-seaters, which has sort of been my passion. That's pretty hard, that. yeah. 
I've always loved drifting and watched it and have been around it for a few couple of years just on the outside looking in. The good thing about it is everyone's getting a lot more professional, you know, and, and people are starting to get a lot more, yeah, getting a lot more respect for them and that and everyone gets on so good at the track, everyone gets on really good after and if I sort of see that's sort of where my future's gonna be is just drifting because I, I really do actually love it. Awesome. That's awesome. High five, dude. <laughs> like that. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. Running a Nissan Silvia S14 with a RB25 DET, about 285 kilowatt of the wheels, just all your normal suspension mods and that, and a pretty paint job. Oh, we're doing well today. Qualified we in sixth or seventh place. Sixth place, okay. Which is good, top that's 10, awesome. you know, that's, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, anything's good as long as it's in the top 16 when we get to the battles, <laughs> that's what we're about. I'm Andrew Redward, you're watching D1NZ TV. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out some of the other top contenders. Brad Smith and his Nissan 1VR. Mr. Sam Groombridge and his R32 Skyline. Mr. Matt Chucky Jackson and his Fast Car C33 Laurel. Good, eh? Steven Soul, one of the veterans of D1NZ drifting in his R32.4 Skyline, representing Taranaki. It's going the best it ever has. Oh, I love it, eh? Yeah. This is one of my favourite tracks. Once you get it right, the, the whole back section is just fast, yeah. and it's, it's quite a cool section when you get it right. You just gotta pedal it as hard as you can. One of the more interesting cars in the field Turbo Park S2000 AE86 Jonathan Bennett. Carl Ruderman, obviously one of the other top drivers in New Zealand. Just come back from the Red Bull World Drifting Championship as well with um, the likes of Mad Mike and Gaz Wider. Yeah, the States was awesome. Just to see other drivers' styles, what they do, a lot of left foot braking and I don't know, just race their positioning on the track, the whole lot of it and how professional they are. Obviously we'll never have the sponsorship like and the money that they have over here, but I don't see why our driving can't still be on their level. I, I totally agree, I mean obviously Rhys Millen, he is a Kiwi at, at heart and at, at birth, so um, I mean he is at the top of the game pretty much over there at the moment and it shows us that it can be done. Yep. Uh, we, we always have a, a can-do attitude, don't we? Yep. After some intense qualifying runs, the top 16 was chosen. Stick around and find out who they were right after this.